Welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm Cinnamon. And I'm Derek. <laughs> oh. Ready to go? Ready! Alright, we got a load. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday for us right now. So this will probably be a year later by the time we get this, <laughs> this video out. Tuesday, we're picking up this thing. There's cinnamon in the background. We threw some straps back there, and this thing, this thing weighs about 14,000 some odd pounds. We got the two inch straps because they're fast and easy. We got six of them there, so six times three is like 18, but then you got, you know, 300, 300 times six as well, so that, it's more than enough. Um, we just want to be safe. Uh, there's the thing in the background over there you can't really see because the sun. We're wearing Wolverine colored gloves here, and we're in the the great state of Michigan. <laughs> so that's what she looks like right now. Picked up a load from Lansing, Michigan, and we are taking that to where, Cinnamon? Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Okay, now, <laughs> do you remember how many miles that's for? Um, actually, I have it right here. It is for 463 miles. And uh, what is what does the pay end up being per mile? Uh, without deadhead, it is two dollars and fifty nine cents. Okay, so that's that's pretty good, and oh, it's a uh, non-tarp load, so I think that's uh. Was it sweat and gold? <laughs> I think that's out, outstanding for um, non-tarp. Yeah. Because usually when we get tarp, it seems like that's a good pay for tarp. And it didn't take that long at all to strap down. No, it didn't. I, I hate tarp. Absolutely hate tarp. <laughs> um, we're not going to drive all the way over there today. We're going to uh, stop at the closest hotel we can find to the place that has uh, truck parking since we don't have a sleeper berth. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up starting out early today just to get there. We got up at 5 o'clock in the morning, which was really rough, but grab something to eat real quick and then like we just heated up leftovers from the day before just so we could try and hurry up and be out the door. We ran into a little bit of traffic on 23 near Ann Arbor, but other than that, it went pretty smoothly. Um, yeah, we didn't want to leave the night before because we've tried to go to Michigan in that general area before, and um, there was we couldn't find any hotels with truck parking, so we ended up staying at a Love's truck stop in Michigan and slept in the truck, and uh, that was really uncomfortable for us. It, uh, yeah. It wasn't just about being uncomfortable, like we literally were both 30-something and 
it felt like uh, it took a couple of days for us to recover. Um, my feet were swollen, both of our backs hurt, like, and we just felt like very exhausted. And you don't ever want to drive, you know, like that. Uh, we took a lot of coffee, that definitely helped us out, but we don't ever want to do that again. Like, it was rough. And uh, last Friday, we got home uh, a little bit before 3 a.m. And I just want to mm -hmm. thank everybody for uh, tuning in checking out the live and uh, big special thanks to Michael the uh, my, my, I want to call Michael the Spartan but uh, <laughs> that guy always gives us money and we appreciate it <laughs> and um, we really want to thank everyone that stayed on a long time we talked about it um, yeah the net, like on Saturday and Sunday like just um, was, Derek's like that was really cool that they stayed on with us yeah, I, I couldn't believe that there's a, quite a few people that that rode along with us a very long time. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Um, That's a long haul. YouTube didn't post the whole thing, but we were on um, for a little over six hours straight. So you guys were with us for <laughs> the long end of our journey, and we are just so grateful for that. So thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, and then when we got home at 3 o'clock in the morning, our truck got stuck. Yeah. So we had to deal with that until about four o'clock in the morning. It's uh, we don't really have a turnaround in our driveway for our truck, so what I would do is drive out in what used to be a pasture, it has like weeds and grass out in it, and um, evidently it's been raining or whatever. And I went to do a turnaround. Everything was going fine. I felt the wheels start to spin. I did, I I knew I had a gut feeling as like once I stop, that's it. But I stopped because I thought, that, you know, it was like a split second decision because I was barely rolling. So I stopped and I regret that. But and she wouldn't go. I turned the <laughs> hubs to uh, lock it, put it in four wheel drive uh, low. And uh, we, uh, we were stuck then. And so the truck wouldn't go anywhere with the trailer on. So what we ended up doing Rocking back and forth. We uh, unhooked the trailer completely, and then we were rocking the truck back and forth until we felt like the truck was going to get over the hump. And once I felt like it was getting there, I just floored it. And so I, I would say the tires are pretty good. Uh, looking back now, uh, we got the Cooper or something. I don't even remember what they're called, but they worked out pretty good for that. Yeah, and then after uh, we got out from under it, we went on the road and went down the road to get some mud off the tires. To clean then, out the treads, so that way it, the truck would grip a little bit better once we went back. Right, and then he uh, backed it up from a different angle yep. so that we wouldn't be in the same tire. In the ruts, you know, yeah. yeah. And then he hooked it back up, and then we were good to go. Yeah, So. and um, once it was moving, I sped up. We went fast. Yeah. And also, what I also <laughs> did too to help out, you might not know this, but I lifted up the left axle on the trailer so that way when I was turning, yeah. the trailer would twist easier and I wouldn't have that kind of restriction. So I did that and I think that also helped out. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> oh man, that probably took us about a half hour or longer. Went to bed at four. Derek got up at eleven, so he had the seven hours of sleep. I stayed in bed till one. I'm like, you know, to rest my throat after talking for six hours, and then yeah. Uh, so we're still. I feel like it's Tuesday, and we're. I feel like I'm still recovering. I don't know. Yeah. I just. It's it's weird because even being thirty something, we feel like we're still. Um, like those things actually have more of an effect on us. How did I stay up all night? Like when I was yeah. younger, and you know. <laughs> it's pretty wild. And we're not old by any means. So it's just weird. But anyways, thank you for being on the live with us all you guys. Neo, Nathaniel, everybody that was on there. Ricky. Juan, Ricky, Michael, you guys are all awesome. And then there, I'm sure there's a bunch of names. There's a bunch of other names too, yeah. Yeah. And we Kathy were, was on there. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of people <laughs> on there. We did a lot of miles that day. Cinnamon alone did at least a couple hundred, I think. But, yeah. but today's nice, there's no snow, it's a little chilly, but I don't know, we're very thankful for everything. So.
Nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. Do it! Lift off. guys thank you for uh, sending us something if you would like to send us something it's a uh, truck and travel p.o box 748 finley ohio 45840 this time we do have something in the mail yay and we're pretty excited oh my goodness there we go. cinnamon was complaining about how long it took me to uh open up the last letter we're, we're not going to complain anymore though are we Okay, okay. So this one comes from William, all the way from Randolph, Ohio. Randolph. Pretty exciting. This is. Wait, is it Rudolph or Randolph? Randolph. Randolph. That's what I said. Oh no, I was. Okay. Would Rudolph you like to Ohio, read that, Cinnamon? Oh, it's a Christmas card. We love Christmas Yay, cards. Yay, Christmas cards! It says, "Warm wishes this, warm wishes this holiday." Warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. Merry Christmas, William. Thank you. Thank you, you William. Very I cool. I love it. We have um, a wall that has like, you know, one of those strings. What is that called? I don't know, but it has a uh, clothesline clip things on it and yeah. uh, we hang our cards from it. So we're like definitely. Like strings. So it looks like old fashioned. We'll definitely hang this on. Yeah. That. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to set this over there and you can hold on to that. Because I'm going to hang it up. Yeah. And this is from James all the way from is it Hubbard, Ohio? I think Hubbard, yeah. We actually stopped there at a Love's to uh, find a Love, so it's pretty cool. I was pretty excited once I seen Hubbard, Ohio, because, you know. It looks like you just every day, you know, you know, you use a big knife to open my mail. <laughs> I like that knife. <laughs> All right. So we got a picture of an Indian shooting a deer. Would you like to read this one? Sure. Uh, as names obtained, okay, so it's called Quick Decision. Wait, you know what's a... Oh, that's really cool. Yay. I thought it was just like a postcard type deal. Well, do you want me to read this back part about this? So this is the picture, so you guys can see. 
Here, show him the other card because we didn't show him what what the front. Oh, sorry. This that's, is. That's what William sent us. Is it gonna focus on it? Here. Wait, hold on. Let me go. You gotta do this. There. There's that one. And then there's that one. So I'm gonna read the back of this real quick. It says, quick decision. As natives obtained more firearms in the 17th and 18th century, killing large animals became easier. However, as the demand for hides by the Europeans and the desire slash need for trade goods by the Indians grew, the huge populations of deer, elk, and buffalo were quickly becoming depleted. The continuing wars that the Indians were drawn into required the men to spend more and more time fighting with which left less time to hunting or hunt the diminishing herds of large animals, making them even more dependent on the white traders and military for food and supplies. The hunter in this painting has been caught by surprise by the appearance of a fast running white tailed deer behind him. He is in an awkward position to fire accurately and he must quickly decide whether to take a chance shot at a large buck. If he is lucky, he will have food, a valuable hide, and he will probably recover a much needed lead rifle ball. Uh, if he is unlucky, he will have lost valuable powder and a ball, plus he will have scarred or scared any other game which may be in the area. What will he decide? That's kind of cool. Um, so, it says, do you want me to read the inside? Yeah. Okay. It says, hello, Derek and Cinnamon, just a quick note, drove for Roberts Express, 83 to 88, retired in 2001, and then drove for a couple of uh, courier companies. Now driving for a very small expediting company here in Youngstown, Ohio. In, in my 2014 uh, Ford Escape delivering uh, electrical stuff. Uh, Hickey Bob's things. Your handwriting is beautiful. I'm just awful at reading some things. <laughs> um, and things also some uh, whatchamacallits. <laughs> in a 400 mile radius. Been following Derek driving, uh, delivering travel trailers. A lot of work followed by a lot of deadhead miles. You both compliment each other very nicely. Um, hey, you spent the night here at Hubbard. Welcome. Cinnamon, you said how beautiful the mountains were in Pennsylvania. They are. Card is from the Museum of the Old uh, 1754 French Fort Leboeuf. I think that's how you say that, or maybe Lebeau. Uh, Watertown, Pennsylvania, south of Erie, Pennsylvania. For now, Jim. Very cool. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. <laughs> That's awesome. And I like ones that kind of like have stories behind them yeah. and stuff and some history. We, we really do love history. Yeah. Um, we love to learn about it for sure. So thank you so much. Um, we do appreciate getting mail. I mean, every, who doesn't like snail mail and anything in the mail that isn't bills? You know what I mean? So, um, if you guys wanted to write us again, we'll leave the, uh, the description in the... Yeah. The, You'll see it. The address in the description. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for sending in the mail. Thank you for following us. It really means a lot to us. Um, yeah. Merry Christmas and all that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me